What's up? You know, I've thought about doing this for quite some time, and before I say anything, what I'm about to say is not, a, is not to offend anybody. I'm not offending any young teenage girls, or any young teenage guys, or any women, or even men that are fans of these shows. I'm not here to do that. Um, I'm actually here to just talk about and give my opinions on two shows that seem to be very popular on Monday nights, well actually Mondays, Wednesdays, two, and Thursdays, or Tuesdays, whatever you want. Basically very popular within the, in the first few days of the week. And they're both aired on two different networks. I'm talking about Dancing with the Stars on ABC and American Idol on Fox. Now, I'm going to come out and be perfectly honest with you. Okay? I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I am not a fan of neither Dancing with the Stars or American Idol. I'm going to be completely honest. I'm not a fan of either show. Now, I do watch the show sometimes just to be, just to see what they're going to do, all right? But I watch it sometimes because on Monday nights, and whether it's the results or the next night or two nights afterwards, you know, where they eliminate someone, whether it's Tuesday, the next night or Wednesday night or even Thursday night, I watch it sometimes because... Well, I have to be, well, because there are times that I'm in, in the room, I'm in the living room, and I have to eat dinner, and my mom's there, and, you know, that's what she likes to watch, so out of respect, I watch it with her. But I'm going to be perfectly honest, I do not like the shows. I do not like them, and I'll tell you why. Now, I will admit, first of all, American Idol does bring out, does the winners, or runners-up, or even those eliminated, when they shouldn't be, you know, they do, American Idol does bring out some good singers, you know, that end up becoming good performers in singing and in acting. Uh, Jennifer Hudson is a good example. Uh, but some end up going into obscurity. I mean, last year's uh, winner we didn't see uh, publicly, if you will, until the Disney parade, the Christmas parade, that is. Uh, the previous, uh, the other guy, who was the runner-up, got himself a record deal, but apparently also went on to be very controversial. We found out who he really is, and we saw the performance that he did at on the American Music Awards. So, anyway, which has led to more controversy. But anyway, getting back to what I'm saying, you also have Dancing with the Stars, which is, well, it's not, well, it's a little bit, it's a lot more different than American Idol. It's more about celebrities who never really learned to dance, learning to dance for the first time and trying to win a dance ball cup, a ballroom competition, basically. So, anyway, so, that's basically what that is. Now, the reason I don't like either show, and I'm going to get into that right now, is for one reason. Dancing with the Stars, it's okay. It's an okay show. I mean, I'm not going to say it's not. But here's the reason I don't like it. It's mainly the same thing week after week. Sure, it's different dances and everything, different routines. I'll give you that. But, But it's just, to me, there's just something about it. I think, in a way, though, sometimes, you know, the people that end up winning, sometimes, a pain, a pain to me, the reason I don't, well, basically the reason I don't like it is because all you see is people just learning to dance and everything, and all it is is dancing and dancing, and to be honest, the people that dance great sometimes end up getting eliminated. 
That's why I don't watch it because, you know, it's just not interesting to me. I mean, plain out simply, it's just not interesting. I just don't find it intriguing. I don't. And that's why I just don't, you know, it just doesn't really do anything for me. Now, unless, I will admit, unless there's maybe a WWE superstar or a TNA superstar or even a UFC person in there, or, you, you know, I might, you know, watch it. Or even if there's an NFL person, like Chad Ultra Cinco's in there right now, I might catch a glimpse. But other than that, overall, it just really doesn't intrigue me. It's really not that interesting. I don't find anything fun about it, you know, anything like that. I, I really don't. Now, as far as American Idol goes, well, that's an entirely different story. I don't, personally, the only things I liked about American Idol, like I said, is, they, is that those that were eliminated and those that were runners up and even the, the, the few that won went on to become great stars in music and in acting. I mean, I can name a few. Jennifer Hudson, Carrie Underwood, Dartrey, you know, Ruben Stutter, just to name a few. But the rest, you know, they're not that good. They either got into obscurity. You haven't heard from them, ex with the exception of maybe parades and all that. Um, they've gone on to controversy to be very controversial, like you know that Lambert guy. So overall, you know, the one thing I just don't like about it is the fact that when is Fox going to get it through its mind? Or when is anybody going to get it through its mind that American Idol is nothing more than a glorified hour and a half, basically almost three hour show when you combine both nights, glorified three hour, and this is no offense to anybody, but glorified three hour teen show. That's all it is. A teen show mostly targeted at the teen female demographic. What I mean is, okay, let's face it. Every time there's a young guy on there, long hair, you know, and everything, and the judges, and even those watching at home, will deem the fact that he doesn't sing good. Most of the time, when that person is asked to stand up before they're judged to either be eliminated or stay, the girls go crazy for that guy. Why? Because in the young teenage girl's mind, he's cute, and his cuteness should have him, should allow him to stay. That's what gets through their mind. It's the cuteness. Because if you hear every time when a female person or female contestant on the show stands up, yeah, they get cheered and everything, but not as loud as the guys. Because every time the guys stand up, the girls go crazy. So that's why I don't, that's the one thing I don't like about this. The fact that nobody gets it through the clue that this is a teenage girl show. And again, that's mostly, well, it's not just a teenage girl show. I mean, I know there's a lot of older people my age that like it, my mom included, who's in her six, who's 60 years old. But for, but the main t demographic audience that it's targeted at is teenage girls. I mean, why do you think sometimes the singers that, the contestants don't, don't sing so well, why do you think they end up staying? Because the majority of people that vote for them are teenage girls. It's obvious. And who are the ones that majority stay? It's the cute guys. That's what it is. That's why I don't like about this, because they don't do a fair job. I mean, if I was the people in American Idol, here's what I would do. Here's what I would do. I would, I would have the audience vote, like they did on America's Funniest Home Videos. I have the audience vote. That way, I know I've got a fair amount of, of all age demographics. Now I can't. Now I wouldn't. Now the phone and the online deal, I wouldn't be able to, you know, figure out. But the otherwise, I would. If we did an in studio voting. But again. The reason I don't like American Idol is because of that one reason. I mean, if it wasn't because if they would, if they would make it more like where it was targeted towards everybody demographically, then I'd have no problem with it. But because it's so obvious it's targeted towards the teenage girls, 
even though other people of other ages watch it, but its main target is the teenagers, mostly teenage females. That's what I don't like about it. Because even if a guy is bad and singing, they, the girls still want him to be kept around because they think he's cute. That's the only reason. Now again, I'm not trying to offend anybody, but, they, but these are just my opinions. I'm not being offensive, these are just my opinions on why I don't like these shows. And if you got any comments, feedback, let me know. And that, again, these are just my opinions, not to offend anybody, but these are just my opinions. I thank you for watching, and take care.